In this video, we will cover the safety information and procedures for safe operation of the Lightweld 1500. All users must review the user guide in its entirety and be fully trained before using Lightweld. Make sure to review all the safety information in the user guide. Do not operate without both the IPG welding helmet with shield provided with light weld and proper safety glasses certified for approximately 1070 nanometers. Make sure everyone present during laser operation is also equally protected. Exposure to laser light can inflict severe retina and or cornea injuries leading to permanent eye damage and may cause skin damage. Some laser light is invisible, so safety protocols must be followed to prevent accidental exposure to invisible, direct and reflected beams. IPG strongly recommends following ANSI Z136.1, which is the American national standard for safe use of lasers. IPG also recommends having a trained laser safety officer. Responsibilities for the laser safety officer include Establish and maintain safety policies. Evaluate hazards in laser work area. Implementing and maintaining prescribed control measures. Approve SOPs and procedures that may be part of procedural controls. Recommend and approve protective equipment. And ensure personnel receive adequate safety education and training. Now, let's go over system safety with the Lightweld 1500. Lightweld generates two laser beams, a low-power guide beam that is visible for part alignment, and a high-power welding beam that is invisible. Be sure to always wear laser safety glasses certified for approximately 1070 nanometers when operating light weld. Everyone in the room should be wearing laser safety glasses when the light weld is on and welding. Additionally, always make sure to use the IPG welding helmet with shield provided with light weld when welding. The Lightweld 1500 comes with a security key, which protects access to the machine. The Lightweld can only be operated when the key is inserted and turned to the on position. The Lightweld 1500 is also equipped with an emergency off button. To turn the unit off immediately, press the button in. To turn the power back on twist and pull the button out. Now, let's go over safety interlocks for the Lightweld 1500. The Lightweld 1500 comes with a 12-pin I.O. connector. This is installed at the rear of the unit with the supplied screws and is used to connect your interlock system. In this example we have the Lightweld connected to a dual interlock system mounted on the door. When the door is closed and the welding gun trigger is depressed, the interlock light will illuminate. This indicates that the interlock is satisfied and it is safe to begin welding. If the door is open during welding, the interlock light will turn off and the light weld 1500 and gun will immediately power off. You will also see an error code appear in the laser power display window. To reset the laser, release the triggers on the welding gun. Ensure the door is closed and interlocks are connected. Press the trigger on the welding gun again to clear and reset the light weld. You are now able to resume welding. Another safety interlock on the light weld 1500 is the part contact interlock. In order for the laser to fire, the welding gun nozzle must be in contact with the part. Once the welding head nozzle is in contact with the part, the green indicator light will begin to blink. This indicates that the light weld is ready to begin welding. The Lightweld 1500 gun is equipped with a two-position trigger. Position 1 satisfies the operator's safety interlock and turns the shield gas on. The indicator on top of the gun will glow green, then change to flashing when gas preflow is complete and laser is ready to fire. You will notice that the gas indicator light on the front panel of the light weld will also start to flash rapidly when the first trigger is depressed. While holding the position 1 trigger down, depress position 2 trigger to turn the laser beam on. Finally, let's discuss the protective equipment needed when using the Light Weld 1500. Under all conditions, the operator and any spectators in the welding area must wear full protective equipment when the laser is operating. These include Laser safety glasses Laser welding helmet 
coat, apron or other skin protection. And welding gloves. In summary, the light weld has many safety features built in to protect the operator. Key switch enabled. Fiber delivery interlock. Dual door switch interlocks. Nozzle contact sensor. And two position laser trigger. Always refer to the user guide for detailed safety guidance. This concludes getting started with the Light Weld 1500. Please watch our other videos for additional operating instructions and laser welding tips.